Hello again, and thanks for sticking with us. We have numerous strong to severe thunderstorms moving across West Texas right now. We're going to take a deeper look at some of the warnings we have in place. The first one in effect for Sterling County until 9.45 p.m. That's including Sterling City. It looks like the strongest part of that storm right on top of Sterling City right now. We're getting golf ball size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts in this storm. Moving up to the big country, this next severe warm storm impacting portions of Fisher, Jones, Nolan, and Taylor County, including the city of Abilene, as well as Sweetwater. We got some of that hail sitting on top of Sweetwater right now. This storm has quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts just a little bit farther east. This storm here impacting portions of Callahan, Jones, Shackleford, and Taylor County, including the city of Abilene in that polygon until 1015. We're also getting quarter size hail in this storm and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, a great deal of of West Texas is under a severe thunderstorm watch until 2 a.m. getting as far south as this San Angelo to Brady line not including Big Lake I would include them in that line because it's that far south but they're not included in that we're still going to be tracking the chance for these scattered thunderstorms producing large hail and strong wind gusts as the main impacts but there is going to be a little bit of a flooding concern overnight as well these storms looking to continue through tomorrow morning overnight lows getting into the low to mid 60s but the main thing is going to be the continued risk for thunderstorms overnight in fact getting into wednesday morning a great deal of us under this level one threat just continuing from those storms we're seeing right now moving overnight strong wind gusts large hail are those top impacts still with that flooding concern as well now right now we're seeing the strongest of those storms of course moving through the big country that's going to continue moving east by midnight still seeing the strongest line extending from the eastern big country down to eastern portions of the Concho Valley with a few thunderstorms behind trailing along that I-20 line. Getting into tomorrow morning, the heaviest behind us, still though seeing some isolated thunderstorms across the heartland and eastern portions of the big country and then far back along that I-20 line to western portions of the big country. We will see a small break for locations south of I-20. The big country and the heartland could continue to see some rainfall around lunchtime tomorrow. And then as we start to get into those evening evening hours we'll see another round of storms possible just north of us getting into overnight Thursday with more of that moving south as we get into the start of our Thursday so with a lot of these storms moving overnight you definitely want to make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings and that you have your ringer on and turned up so in case any warnings are issued you do have a way to hear it and wake you up out of your sleep if need be we're going to keep up this pattern of isolated to scattered rain chances each afternoon this week with more updates as they become available on whether or not we're going to be expecting severe weather each day. Temperatures mainly hanging out in the low to mid 80s through the rest of this work week. More of the mid to upper 80s getting into the weekend and getting a little bit closer to that 90 degree mark around this time next week. We're going to have more updates on tonight's severe weather throughout the show but make sure you have the Fox West Texas mobile app as well as Fox West Texas Plus for Roku and Fire TV to stay up to date with all the latest updates. Back to you.